here we are giving a different solution to the last problem that pure rolling mode. So here we are going to solve it by the traditional force on the torque method. So here as you see I have chosen obviously this will be the force kx. So this is the force f friction acting on this. So what will be the force equation? So here m x double dot. So x double dot means d2 x dt2. So m x double dot equal to minus kx minus f. Torque equation from the center of mass f r equal to half m r square alpha. Okay, condition of pure rolling a equal to r alpha or a same as x double dot equal to r alpha. So now we can combine these three equations see, and substitute in equation work. So combine e e the equation 2 and 3 and then substitute in equation 1 you get m x double dot equal to minus k x minus half m a. So 3 by 2 m x double dot equal to minus k x. x double dot is minus 2 k by 3 m. So this will give you the same answer. Next we will learn about angular oscillations and and uh, physical pendulum so angular oscillations or angular SHM rather and the physical pendulum okay so angular SHM is if the angle theta or theta the angular displacement varies as theta as theta naught sine of omega t plus phi this omega is not the angular velocity remember it is the angular frequency of the simple harmonic motion so it is not d theta by dt remember and uh, physical pendulum is something like this say this is a point about which a physical body like this is hanged this is a hinge oh so when in equilibrium what happens as you know through the center of gravity the weight will act mg then the, say at slight angular displacement theta now this should be very very small angle so the body shifts here so the center of gravity shifts here and this is the weight mg and by the way this is the distance between the center I mean the point of the hinge this point O where the hinge is and the center of gravity R okay so this is the same distance R okay. now at this position what is the torque on the body so torque on the body about the hinge o is i can write torque is i d2 theta dt2 i alpha equal to minus mgr sin theta as theta is very small we can write sin theta as theta so d2 theta dt2 equal to minus mgr by i theta so i is i is moment of inertia of the body about an axis passing through o i mean the axis should be perpendicular to the plane of the board this i okay so now uh, it uh, this differential equation has solution 
theta equal to theta naught sine of root over mgr by i t plus phi. So that means the angular frequency of SHM omega is root over of mgr divided by i. So the time period of SHM will be 2 pi root over of i divided by mgr. So in our next page, we will find out the condition for the time period of oscillation of physical pendulum to be minimum because uh, I, I can't say uh, or if I ask for the maximum time period so that will be infinity why if the point O the hinge is at the center of gravity itself so if you displace it if you give it a displacement theta then what will happen there will be no torque so it will not oscillate at all or the oscillation time period will be infinite so we will uh, find out condition for physical pendulum condition for time period to be minimum now as you see the time period is 2 pi root over of i by mgr so i equal to i about center of mass or center of gravity same thing i cm plus m r square divided by mgr so basically for t to be minimum you have to minimize this quantity i cm by r plus mr leave about this g and m whatever i cm by i cm by leave this mg so i cm by uh, plus mr minimize that is you can differentiate it sorry ddr with respect to r you can vary r to get the minimum time period i cm by r plus mr equal to 0 implies minus i cm by r square plus m equal to 0 implies r equal to root over of i cm by so this is a condition that means this is the distance of, of the point two from the center of gravity for the condition of <coughs> minimum time period of oscillation. Now, next page we will discuss about the torsional pendulum. Torsional pendulum, say let's draw a situation. This is a rod, and this disc. Okay. And torsion means just actually twisting. So here, what do you do? You give this thing a twist. You give this thing a twist means you rotate it at this lower end you rotate it by an angle theta so actually this end will rotate by an angle theta give it the twist like this So it will oscillate about this axis, right? So this is the axis about the thing will oscillate. Now here is given that the torsion constant, torsion constant of the rod is 
k that is if angle of twist i mean that twist angle means the angle of twist at the lower end this end will remain fixed if angle of twist is theta then the resistive torque resistive torque equal to k times theta okay so this resistive torque is applied by the rod on this disc so suppose moment of inertia of the disc about the axis is i we all know that this i will be equal to half m r square however we will keep it as i so we can write i into alpha so this is d2 theta dt2 equal to c the twist angle is in this direction and the resistive torque will be in this direction so we will put a minus sign minus k times theta implies d2 theta dt2 equal to minus k by i times theta so this is omega square so omega angular frequency of this shm is root over k by i implies time period is 2 pi root over of i by k okay. 